With the projected increase in calls, there definitely will be a need for a, a second team over the next four or five years. Uh, you know, we're talking with hazmat calls, uh, uh, things like uh, chemical uh, spills, uh, certainly keeping, uh, keeping those products out of our storm sewer system. Uh, we could also be talking about motor vehicle collisions with uh, a large amount of, of uh, hazardous materials on the roadways. Again, uh, the uh, intent there is to uh, clean them up and mitigate the scene without uh, negatively impacting the environment. Uh, the increased frequency of crude oil transportation by rail in Edmonton is something that we're watching and, and we're working very closely uh, with the uh, rail transportation companies uh, to develop things like uh, emergency response action plans. Uh, certainly our crews are out doing pre-incident plans as well. Um, so having said all that, uh, you know, our hazmat team in its current form, our technician level uh, uh, has hazardous materials responders. Uh, they do a great job. They're very well trained. Uh, the public uh, will be comforted to know that all of our officers, so every uh, Edmonton Fire Rescue Services uh, truck has got an officer who does have a level of, of uh, awareness training in hazmat. They are the first responders on the scene and uh, we're doing well with our first units on the scene. Their role is to identify that this is a hazardous materials incident, uh, activate uh, our technician level team, uh, establish a perimeter, make, make the, the uh, scene safe, get people away from the area and set it up for our technicians. When our technicians arrive, uh, there is, uh, it takes them time actually to prepare. So uh, a hazardous materials response is uh, quite a bit different than a fire uh, or a rescue uh, response. It, it takes time to set it up safely and so as long as our technicians are arriving on scene within 15 to 25 minutes, uh, I'm confident that uh, that's a timely response for hazardous materials. Uh, what we're projecting with the increase in calls is uh, that response time will be approaching the, the 30 to 35 minute uh, time frame and, and uh, certainly uh, then it's time to, to look at it.